Hi, welcome to my next video. This is the fourth part of the series in which I show you how I make my comic, Yuragi. And you asked me a lot how I edit the pages in Photoshop after I scan them to make them look good. And in this part I wanted to show you just that. The first thing is that I have two files for each page. One file is a scan of the pencil lines before I colored them. And the second one is the page after I colored it with watercolors. I combine them in Photoshop to get a page with nice visible pencil lines. But the first step is cleaning the lines. So I open only the scan of the pencil lines in Photoshop and clean them so I get nice black lines on white background. Because my scanner is a little bit smaller than the paper I use for this comic, I have to get rid of the darker frame around the picture. I do it by selecting the edges, adding a new layer and filling the selection with white. The next step is to make the lines nice and dark on white background. So I use the levels layer and adjust it so I can get rid of the grey texture of the paper and make the lines nice and dark. I look at various parts of the picture to check if I didn't overdo it. So delicate lines didn't disappear and the dark lines aren't too dark. The last step is adding a black and white filter layer uh, to get rid of all the color information. We don't need it for the lines here. I don't do any other corrections at this stage. And the final lines file looks like this. The next step is merging the lines and the color file. So I flatten the lines file and copy the content of it to the colored page file. Because the paper warps when you paint with watercolors, the lines and the color page will not match perfectly. So I have to transform the lines layer a lot to make them match. To do this I first convert the layer into a smart object and then I use free transform and warp transform to match the layers together. It always takes some time to make the layers match and if I cannot do it in one go, I rasterize the layer and then transform the frames one by one. But it lessens the quality of the file, so most of the times I try to get away with only the warp transform and adjusting all the warp points as good as I can. When the colors and the lines match more or less, it's time for the next step in the process, so removing the texture of the paper around the edges and between the panels. I do it by simply using the wand selection tool with tolerance set to about 30, and I click few times around the paper edges of the picture to select them all. Additionally, I use the marquee selection tool to select all the edges so I don't have any trash or mistakes left there. Then I additionally expand the selection about one pixel and fill it with white on a new layer. I additionally use the brush with white color selected to correct any mistakes I did while painting and drawing this page. Even though I'm careful and use masking tape for most of the edges, Sometimes the edges are not perfect or the paint sips below the masking tape and goes over the edge of the panel. Most of the times I try to fix those problems with white paint before I scan the page, but sometimes because I'm scanning the pages with 600 dpi, those things are still visible. When all the edges are cleaned up, I move to correcting mistakes and blemishes I made uh, when painting with watercolors and those include places where the watercolor spilled a little bit over the line or and got darker or is in a different place than it should be or the color mixed in a unpredictable way. Of course I don't fix everything because this is the characteristic of watercolor painting so everything is not straight and perfect but in places that I think it's necessary like faces of the characters I tend to fix some mistakes. I also remove all the trash that got in while I was painting so like small hair or particles of eraser or I don't know what just like dark spots. I remove them all using the stamp tool. When the page is more or less cleaned up, I move to making the speech balloons white. I select them with the wand tool, expand the selection about one pixel and then fill it with white. And then I use a simple brush with white color to fix all the blemishes on the edges. I do it on a separate layer so I can remove it if I have to. All the fixes I do to the page including the lines and the small fixes and the white of the edges and the white of the speech bubbles are made on separate layers. So if I have to I can easily remove those fixes and get back to the original scan. The last step of fixing the content is removing the lines in places where I used white paint on the watercolor painting. In some places I use white paint for effects like speed lines and in those places the line layer I put on top of the painting is not needed so I mask it and use the brush tool to remove the lines in those places. 
After this step is finished, the only thing that's left is adjusting the colors of the whole page. I use the curves layer and the hue saturation adjustment layer to fix the colors just a little bit. Having a good monitor that shows you true colors is really important in a step like this. Okay, so the process is done and here you can see the pages before and after the adjustments. After the whole process is complete, I save the pages to PSD files and JPEG files to see them on my iPad, etc. I hope you found this part interesting. As always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next video. Bye.